All right, uh, what I'm going to try and show you today is a construction I recently made. Uh, basically, it's a uh, truncated icosahedron construction. It's consisting of 12 pentagonal units and 20 hexagon units. Uh, <clears throat> when it's finally done, it looks more like a, a icosahedron. I believe that's because of the convex, concave nature of the pentagonal units. Okay, the main unit I'm using is this right here two layer, that's one side and that's the other. I take five of these and put together to make my pentagonal star unit. Alright, there you go. Now I've already made some other pentagonal units in the back and I put about half the figure together. Now this uh, construction is a bit unstable putting the pentagonal units together. Uh, the hexagon units help stabilize it. Uh, so I didn't want to bore you with all the difficulty there. So I'm going to come in here and put those together. You can see I'm putting the two uh, sort of points together. And then I come in and I'm going to put a hexagon in here to stabilize it and come over here and do another one Let's see, there we go and once again put the hexagon in here to stabilize it oh be careful here while I'm getting my other hexagon Alright, there we go. Got that one stabilized a little bit there. So here is this one. And a couple more hexagonal units. Ooh, don't follow me. Alright. We're getting there. And this one. Once again, my hexagonal units. The hexagonal units really help stabilize these once they're in place because the pentagonal units don't have a lot holding them together there. They're a little weight to them. So that hexagonal unit is a binding unit. Alright. And we've got one nice one there, star shape to fit in. And there goes the last piece. And here are my remaining pentet or excuse me, hexagonal units. All right, there we go. So again, uh, truncated icosahedron construction, uh, but the end product, because the uh, curved nature of the pentagonal units tend to give it an icosahedron look. And notice uh, these uh, indentations here. You can uh, put some pentagonal units in there if you want to. Uh, you can extend this circle out to make tubes to give it an interesting uh, look. So there's a lot that you can do to uh, enhance this unit and uh, just play with the uh, different things that you can come out with. You know, you can even, uh, I haven't done it yet, but uh, even maybe extend the hexagonal sides here with something. Uh, some of the ones I've done, you've seen in my Flickr stream, I've taken tubes and brought out with different colors, or I've put a, a green or something in there, and some of the ones I've actually used a green uh, for the hexagonal unit. But uh, this uh, construction is made entirely out of Zen magnets. So give that a shot. Check it out. Uh, check out the uh, Zen magnets at uh, Flickr.com or the Neodymion uh, Magnet Gallery. Some very interesting shapes. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.